Right in the middle of summertime, that means summer camps are rocking and rolling. And there was one right here in New Orleans making the process of learning about STEM so exciting for your children. Of course, we know STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. So joining us live this afternoon is Dr. Calvin Mackey, the founder of STEM NOLA, an incredible organization. Joining us live to talk about some of the programs in store for your children this year. Thank you so much for joining us to talk about this. We appreciate you, Dr. Mackey. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Thank you for having me. First, I want to talk about why is it so important for students to learn about STEM? Well, Christina, you know, I have a saying. I say in the 21st century, our children are only going to have one or three options. And they're going to be able to take something, break something, and or make something. If we don't give them the skills and education they need to make something, like make a life, make a living, make a future, they're only going to leave them with the two options that we see on the news every night. And we don't want that. And the skills and education they need in the 21st century is grounded in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It is the jobs, it is the workforce, it is the literacy we need for the future. And the projects these students make are incredible. Let's talk about the kinds of programs you have coming up for children this summer. What is STEMNOLA offering? Well, since June 5th, we've already engaged over 4,000 kids, 3,000 with Jefferson Parish School Summer Bridge. But so we have all type of technology camps coming up. On July 10th, we have a rocky day. It's all, it's, we are over capacity now at, Uni at University of New Orleans Lakefront Arena. Uh, we have a food science camp coming up in, on the West Bank and the East Bank. The West Bank and the East, New Orleans East have been asking for programming starting July 19th. We have a food science camp with the University of Holy Cross. And we have a, uh, a robotics camp that's virtual, part of a national initiative sponsored by Chevron, where we're gonna allow up to 200 kids from the five parish region to participate from free. And everybody can find these uh, camps in the registration at stemnola.com. That is exciting to know that you are over capacity for Rocket Day. I know sad for the children who may want to be there. Dr. Mackey, though, I want to ask you about this. We know Stemnola has been around for seven years. How did the pandemic affect your monthly programs? Uh, I'll never forget March 13th when they shut everything down. Six weeks later, Christina, we were up. We made a pivot. AT&T gave us $100,000 to bring our programming online. And since then, we, we've engaged over uh, 20,000 kids in 47 states and five countries. So really what pandemic did it was that it, it brought in our reach. It made people more aware of who we, who we are and what we had to offer. And now people are chiming in to STEM NOLA events from all over the world. That is remarkable. Lastly, before we let you go, how can families get involved and learn about some of these virtual activities for people who may not be uh, here in Southeast Louisiana? Uh, parents, go to stemnola.com. We are offering virtual programming. Uh, starting July 10th, we're back hosting uh, in-person programming. But there's a lot of programming that we're going to have coming down the pike that uh, if you sign up, sign up for the newsletter, we'll send the email directly to your to your mailbox and let you know how your kid or your children or your scholars can participate in the program. Dr. Calvin Mackey, founder of STEM NOLA, thank you so much for joining us today, my friend. We certainly appreciate it and keep up the incredible work. Thank you. Thank you and thank, uh, thank you WDSU for always supporting our efforts. Oh, thank you, Dr. Mackey. We appreciate that. Time now, 1245.